Hey, Dave here, and today I'm gonna to talk about why the one-page retirement plan works so well. And then I'm also gonna talk about one of the biggest myths that advisors actually want you to believe, and then how to create. I'm gonna talk about how to create your actual one-page retirement plan. But first, if you are interested, I've got a downloadable PDF, an example of what the one-page plan actually looks like. So if you're interested in that, um, look in the description below and you'll be able to find find that, uh, how to download it. Um, so if you might be thinking, how can an entire retirement plan fit onto one page? Well, think of it kind of like the, uh, the box, the front picture on a, a box of a children's toy. So that children's toy usually come, if it needs assembly, it comes with directions and step-by-steps that you can follow to make sure you put it together correctly. But most of the time, you're actually going to be looking at the front of the box to make sure that you're doing it right and you're on the right track. Well, that's kind of like what the one page retirement plan is. Now, we've seen uh, clients with 50 page binder plans that come to us. And honestly, when we ask them, they never look at the 50 page binder plan unless maybe they're meeting with, with an advisor. But when we create the one page plan, they'll look at that a lot more often just to make sure that they're, they're on track. Now, one of the biggest myths of, uh, that advisors want you to believe is that your plan has to be complicated in order for it to be successful. Have you ever been in a meeting with an advisor and they're using financial jargon and trying to explain something to you, but it's just kind of going right over your head? Well, that's really common in, in these kinds of meetings. And unfortunately, a lot of advisors will overcomplicate things in order for you to really rely on them more but it doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Um, really, if you can simplify your plan and then you can understand it, and if you understand it, you'll be more likely to, to follow it through. So don't believe that a plan has to be overcomplicated for it to be successful. The second thing to note is that those who can create one-page retirement plans actually see successful retirement. Now, how's this possible? it's because really three things. The one page plan, as you'll see in a minute, it's motivating, it's easy to follow, and it includes the exact next steps that you should be taking in order to get you to this desired outcome that you've identified. Sometimes I compare it to baking a cake. Now, when you're baking a cake, what's the easiest way to get that desired result, that cake, is you just find a recipe and then you follow the steps. Well, that's what the, the one page plan is. Um, it's really just making sure you've got all the right ingredients and the right strategies and the right order, the process to get you to where you need to be. So the one page plan, retirement planning, sometimes like baking a cake. Now, what does the one page plan actually look like? Well, let me pull up the iPad so that you can get an example. Here's what it looks like. Now I'll go over each one of these sections just so you get an idea. And it looks like you can see this. So here, uh, first part of the one page plan, it's all around our values, finding out the things that you value most. And sometimes you might think, well, what does this have to do with retirement planning? Let me see if I can get my, uh, my screen on here too. Here we go. So what does this have to do with retirement planning? Well, if you can get clear on your values, then financial decisions become easier. So here's, here's an example of, of uh, what the, the values are for this person. They valued security. They just wanted to have enough to live on. They wanted freedom. Uh, not being a burden to the kids was important. And then enjoying family and friends and travel. Uh, that was important to them. And then health. They actually had a personal trainer that they wanted to keep uh, because of the results and the, the, the positive impact it's had on their life. So uh, that was a, a key value for them. Now, tangible goals is the next thing. Now, what requires money and planning to accomplish? Um, so the tangible goals for this person was create a sustainable and secure retirement income plan that uh, generated that much in, in income, pay for one big family vacation a year, and then take the grandkids on a mission trip uh, just to see other parts of the world and how other people live so they can get a perspective on, on life and, and, and how they live. Um, and then the five mini plans, there's really five parts to every big retirement plan. And for this person, the key uh, mini plans here were income and then uh, investment were the two big ones, at least the first two that we wanted to focus on. Now, the next steps, this is the step-by-step -step, uh, top three things or top four things that, that you need to do next 
Um, and for her, we were focusing on things we can control. Um, she was under age 59 and a half, so we were looking at 401k withdrawals without pen penalty. She wanted a, a in-depth income plan and retirement withdrawal strategy, including all of these things, and then implementing the investment plan, getting a little bit more conservative, and then turning on income. So they're related, uh, but um, they also have differences too. So that was the next things. Once those were accomplished, there was ongoing planning to do and uh, things related to the estate plan uh, or insurance. Really, all of these things are, uh, are related. Uh, there was some long-term care insurance, tax planning. So all of these things, um, we're just gonna work through and start checking them off. And what will happen over time is that if we're gonna be trying to get to this desired result, and you might have seen this sketch by, by Carl Richards before of here's where you are right now, and here's the desired result, the goals that we have, which we put uh, up here. If we wanna get there, uh, we think that it's a straight line, but um, that's not how life works, right? It's almost like a flight path where the, the pilot's only on the destination uh, or on the right track 1% of the time. So we just wanna make sure we're uh, paying attention, adjusting the plan when need be, so that you can get to this desired result. And this one page plan really helps with that. Now, what's the easiest way to create one of these one page plans? Well, there's three options. So you can, um, one option if you're a reader is there's a great book by Carl Richards called The One Page Financial Plan. And the first three chapters of, of that book help guide you through the process. You could also download the example that, that we looked like I looked at just now. I put a description in the link below if you wanna download that. And then uh, the third option is call me up and I could walk you through the process. There's key questions that I ask everybody as we walk through the one page plan for them. And um, I could do that for you and really I'll do it for free as long as I've got time in the week to, to do it. So if you want to get in contact with me and then we can have that, that meeting. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you found it valuable. If you did, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on the next video and I'll see you there.